What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Celtic Kaizel Show. I'm Jim, and I am the Celtic Kaizel. Today's episode and the next episode are going to be about cycling myths. And I'm going to do three for this episode, and I'm going to do three for the next episode. So let's get into it. Myth number one, cycling is expensive. It's not really, but it can be. The more you spend on a bicycle, the better components you're going to get with that bicycle. But you can go to, you know, someplace like Walmart, spend $120, $130 or $150, whatever, on a bicycle and get into cycling, all right? It doesn't have to be a fancy bicycle. It doesn't have to be a $20,000 Cervelo. It doesn't have to be, you know, the, the most expensive bike you've ever seen, all right? It could just be any bike, really. And if you're wanting to use it to get into triathlon, all it has to be is an upright bike. You've seen this before. Uh, matter of fact, I'll put a card right there so you can look at it again to see how to get into triathlon cheap. But Cycling doesn't have to be expensive, all right? And can, you can get as cheap a bike as you can tolerate riding for however long you plan on riding, all right? Not expensive, but it can be. So let's go ahead and move on. Myth number two, roads are meant for cars. False. To be honest with you, the roads built in the United States were really intended for horse-drawn carriages and walking and bicycles so anybody throws the argument at you that you shouldn't be riding on the road because roads are meant for cars they're wrong now qualifier most states in the united states do have restricted use roads and they'll have signs at any of the access points to these roads that will say you know to the effects of no bicycles allowed or bicycles are strictly prohibited those roads you can't ride on but in general uh, and accepting the restricted access roadways. Pretty much every state in the United States has laws that fully allow bicycles to be on the same roads as cars, all right? And it doesn't matter that you're not going to at the speed limit or whatever, or the argument is, whatever argument is thrown out, all right? It doesn't matter. What matters is on a bicycle, you have to follow the exact same rules that you have to follow if you were driving a car. And keep that in mind because it'll come up again later on. Right now, let's move on. Myth number three, higher tire pressures are better. Not necessarily, all right? Um, if you're a heavier rider, then your higher tire pressures are gonna be a little bit better. Uh, for your lighter riders, lower tire pressures are better. The higher your pressure, the less comfortable your ride's gonna be because now you don't have uh, with higher pressures, you don't have the compressive capability of the tire to absorb bumps and shocks and whatnot. So it could be a little bit more jarring of a ride. So yeah, higher tire pressures, not necessarily better for you. Myth busted. Now let's go ahead and close it out. All right, there you have it. Three cycling myths debunked. Come back next week and I'm going to debunk three more. So if you liked what you've heard so far, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel or you just haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that bell so you get notified when I upload my videos. And uh, until next time, keep on keeping on.